Hello and welcome back to another Hawaiian Trick Eye unboxing. Sweet Bloomboro Play Boosters. We are looking for them beastie boys. Seems like everything that is the apex predator in the set is worth a couple of bucks. So that's what we're looking for. We're looking for the bears. We're looking for the badgers. We're looking for anything that looks like it could eat all these adorable small creatures on the front. Because that seems to be the cards that are worth all the money. So... Once again, Apex Predators at the top of the food chain, which kind of makes sense thematically. Also, we can find some special guest cards in here. There's a couple of heaters, so let's see what we can find. But more than anything, Clement. Hey, Clement. How you doing, buddy? Let's see what we can find. Anything spicy? Maybe. Nothing too wild with that first one, but that's all right. We have many more where that came from. This looks like a pretty decent size uh, booster box. So I'm gonna say this is probably 36 packs, but you know what? I say that and then I find out I'm wrong about two seconds later. So, Portent of Calamity. I think that one's actually pretty decent. Sam Guai, loving it, my man. Caretaker Talent, beautiful. Mm-hmm, not bad at all. You a uh, fan of the furry creatures? Are you uh, enjoying this set? Hopefully. I really think that this is kind of a cool twist because so many of the magic products, it's like everything is absolutely terrifying and will rip your face off of. Oh, Alania Divergent Storm. That one is gorgeous and I think that one's worth like a buck. So wonderful. That is not bad, but yeah, what do you think of this set so far? Are you excited to open some of these, or are you just kind of like, eh, get me on to the next one? I think Dusk Morn is the next one, and that will be a complete 180 from this set. That one is definitely like 70s, 80s horror themed. Take out the trash. Island. I love island cards. They're just gorgeous. Thunder Trap Trainer. It's Matt Stewart. Great job. We are getting some fun little uh, otter cards so far. Nothing else? No, nothing else. All right. But yeah, as far as craziness in this one, it's all the big beefy boys. I think there's a couple of planeswalkers where they have turned Liliana and everything. Azure Beastbinder. Adam Paquetta. Adam, you're my guy. You know that. Ruthless Negation. Ooh, can we find a Cruel Claw? That was one of them that I saw that I was like, I really would like to track that down because that card looks gorgeous. Oh, Carrot Cake. Are you a fan of Carrot Cake? My parents used to make me a Carrot Cake every single year, and I hate Carrot Cake. So the minute I could finally put sentences together, that was like one of the first things I told them was like, please stop, I, I really don't care for it. Keen-Eyed Curator. Nice. Pindersky Swamp. Ooh, Fountain Port. That's another one that's pretty darn good. Do Drop Cure. How cute is that card? Chris Rallis. Great job. Warlock. But honestly, this set looks to be a really fun one to go ahead and draft. I know that these are technically not draft boosters, they're play boosters, and there's all sorts of crazy things to that, but you know what? Why not? Give it a shot. Hired Claw. Gorgeous. I've seen a couple of games, and this one seems to be pretty darn good as a one-drop. Ellie Livingston. Ooh, and we got the regular Hired Claw. Double Hired Claw in one pack. I think I'm going to take that as a pretty good pack. But you know what? I always finish this up, and I start looking at prices of cards, and then I find out that everything I thought was decent ends up being like mediocre and then a card that I'll just flow right past I look at it and I go oh that one was actually really good Whisker Veil Forerunner Ryan Pancoast all right Wildfire Howl yeah how fun are these this is probably a set that if you had young kids would be like a better one to start them with than like Phyrexia all will be one where everything looks like it will murder you or show up in your closet to absolutely ruin your night. Ooh, Phineas Ace Archer. I know that there's some really cool variant art for this one, but Victor Adame Minguez. Fantastic. Ooh, 
and an Ember Heart Challenger. Chris Ron. Loving it. Starts your mentor. All right. Not wonderful. Do you remember Redwall? This is all I think of whenever I see these. I think of Redwall, which back in the day when I was a young little kid, I remember that being a really fun Wick, the world mind. <laughs> that is terrifying. All right, Wick, I'll put you over to that. So, you know, know that I treated you well. But yeah, I remember back in the day, Redwall was just such a really cool book series where a mouse was the main hero. And when I heard about this set coming out, I kind of thought, I wonder if somebody else <laughs> read those Redwall books besides just me, because there's a lot of crossover. So wonder if there will be a lawsuit coming out or if that was just kind of one of those things where it's kind of free for anybody to do. Valley Might Caller. Ooh, that sounds really good. Matt Stewart. Loving it. Honor Dry Leader. All right. All right. I think at the beginning of the video, I said, is anybody here a furry or a fan of furry creatures? I did not mean that. Valley Flood Collar. Victor, again, great job. Peerless Recycling. But you know what? If you are, I'm not judging you. You can do whatever the heck you want. Because if I've learned anything, honestly, if it makes you happy and you're not harming anybody and you can find a group of people you can hang out with, you can do just about anything. But... The big thing is not harming people. <laughs> That's always the caveat. Ooh, Ral, crackling wit. Rudy, loving it. Loving it. That is so cool. All right, well, we found Ral. So that is a wonderful card to see. And I am so happy. I think that's kind of our first big mythic. Good old Ral. He's starting to pop up a lot more in some of these recent sets, if I remember correctly. Patch, or Paw Patch Recruit. Perfect. Johan Grenier. I love that. That's gorgeous. Starforge Sword. Ooh, Seed Glaive Mentor. I've seen a lot of uh, Boros decks using that, so that is a cool thing to see. All right. Run away together. I have seen this a handful of times. I think Throne of Eldraine had this, but this might be my favorite art. This looks like a beautiful water, uh, oh shoot, watercolors. Yeah, watercolors is what I was looking for. Watercolor painting. Good old Monet has nothing on that one. <laughs> oh man, I took an art appreciation class back in the day. It was so much fun. Hearth Born Battler, Haste. Ooh, that's awesome. Zoltan, great job. Season Warring Guard. All right. All right. But yeah, back in the day, I took an art appreciation class. It was so much fun. Literally, it's just, hey, go ahead, look at a painting. What do you like? What do you not like? Tell me about it. Friend, the relentless Kevin Sidarth. That's so cool. I love that. Planes, gorgeous. Valley Flame Caller, Justin. Oh my gosh. There's so many really cool cards. I'm really going to have to look at it a lot more once I turn my camera off and, you know, get to appreciate it. Because right now I'm just trying to go at a decent clip that people aren't losing focus and going, holy cow, what, what's taking this guy so long to open a box of cards? It's not that crazy. Friend again. All right. Repel Calamity. Okay. Patchwork. I think Patchwork Banner was one of those I was kind of keeping a couple of, couple of bucks, maybe 50 cents or something like that. So I have to look that up afterwards. So no serial numbered cards in this one. So nothing too wild. I see a special guest coming up. Ooh, I love that. Ledger Shredder. Vulcan Baga. I love that, buddy. Flying. Oh, yeah. This is exactly what I wanted. Fantastic. Followed by a Dower Port Mage. All right. That is a pack. All right. Well, that's our first special guest. And what a special guest it was. 
big old smile on my face because Ledger Shredder, I think still gets a ton of play in some really cool blue decks. So, ooh, this is another one that I've seen. Um, I was watching a Tolarian uh, Community College video and that Cruel Claw heist was definitely used a couple of times because it seems like a pretty darn good card because you get to gift a card and then you, they reveal their hand. Oh my gosh, yeah, that, you could do some nuts stuff. So I will definitely be looking that one up afterwards. Manifold Mouse. All right, Randy Vargas. Randy Vargas has some of my favorite art. I keep on thinking back to all the cards that he did in uh, Dominaria Remastered set. So I know that he has done some cards that I have definitely given a shout out to. So great to see your art in here. Planes, look at that winter planes. That's, I love it. Thorn Bolt Forager. Mark, great job. Calamitous Tide. <laughs> All right. All right. Nothing too wild in that. I think we're about halfway, just kind of judging by the old digging on down in the box. I'm going to say halfway. Mountain Innkeeper's Talent. This is the second one I think we've gotten of that. So that's really cool to see. War Squeak. <laughs> All right. All right, can we find Mabel Mura, trash tactician? <laughs> Vulcan, you know you're my guy. You always do such a great job with your art. So really cool to see Vulcan doing a handful of cards in this set that are just gorgeous. I think uh, most of my videos, I try to go ahead and put like a, a little shout out to where they are, Darkstar Augur. And sometimes are his talents. All right. Stormcatcher Mentor. Ooh. That could be fantastic for a blue red deck. Reverse pull. That could be fantastic. But I think Vulcan, I always have trouble finding his uh, Instagram account. So I don't know if he doesn't have an Instagram account that I can kind of give a little shout out to, or if I'm thinking of the wrong person. Ooh, Cruel Claws Heist. This time in foil, I'm loving it. Three Tree City, Andrew Marr. Gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. In the stretchy art or borderless or whatever we're calling those these days. I like it. All right, well, this has definitely not been a disappointment. Maybe for you, not for me. <laughs> I, uh, this ended up on my porch this morning. Three Tree City again. Grady. Love it. Scrap Shooter. Another fantastic card I just saw in the Tolarian. Ooh. In the Tolarian Community College uh, video. Scrap Shooter showed up quite a bit. Don't want to spoil anything for you if you haven't watched it yet. If you want to, go ahead. Go over and check out their channel. I think uh, the professor does some really cool videos. So I have no issue giving a shameless plug because... Chances are, if you watch my videos, ooh, maha, it's Feathers Night. Alessandra Pisano, love it. What a great unboxing so far. We have found some really cool cards. So about two thirds of the way through and just a lot of positive thoughts. And I am so happy that we have found so many of these cards that are just gorgeous. Zoraline Cosmos Caller. All right. Wow. I definitely needed to do a little bit more of my homework on what was really good and what wasn't because I kind of knew like the baseline super top end cards, but there's a lot of cards in here that I'm looking at it and I'm like, is this like 30 cents good or is this like $5 good? And <laughs> I'm excited for everything, but I just don't. Ooh, I know that this one's pretty darn good. Dragonhawk Fates. Tempest at uh, Victor. Oh, and an iridescent vine lasher. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Aaron Miller. That's another good one. This one is perfect as well. If you want to do a lizard deck, Fireglass Mentor is awesome. 
watched a lot of arena games where that one will absolutely get you out of some uh, tricky situations, just getting you some cards in exile that you can cast. Because the more and more I play Magic, I seem to, ooh, Manifold Mouse, gorgeous. Chuck, loving it. Ah, oh, so pretty. These cards are gorgeous. So, if anything, I hope that this encourages you to go out and get a couple of packs if you want. If not, and that's not something that's feasible for you, you know what? Thank you so much for watching this video along with me and watching me open a couple of packs because, ooh, Pisa, the Bounding Spring. Martin, very cool. Very, very cool. <laughs> Short bow, love it. But yeah, if, uh, if you want to get a couple of packs, I've had a great time with this uh, unboxing. If not, and you just want to watch me, hey, that's totally fine too. I will, you know, probably sell off a good majority of these cards and try to help uh, make the prices of these a little bit more fair for everybody that wants to purchase them. Jackdaw, savior, bird cleric. <laughs> that's a cool thing. All right. Perfect. Final four. I think there's one extra pack over there, so I think we got a total of four packs to go. We found one special guest, but we found a lot of really cool mythics, so pretty happy. Kitsa, that's another one. I think that's a couple of bucks. Zoltan, great job. Dry leader. All right. Three to go. I'm going to move this back. It's probably slowly been creeping down this whole time and now I'm finally ooh, pristine sardine token can't have a deck without that <laughs> kit nap terrifying arena I love it but I'm terrified <laughs> all right war squeak another one huh all right second to last what do we find Fabled Passage, and Paquetta. You do the best job with lands. I love it, Adam. Anything else wild? Nope. And final pack. Can we find anything else nuts or craziness? Let's see. Hands are a little squeaky. Hmm. Don't know what's going on with that. Storm Chaser's Talent. Christina. Love it. Valley Rally. All right. Anything wild? Nope. All right. Well... I've had a very nice time. I hope you did too. Thank you so very much. Take care. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.